Baltic and Jonathan Black are no strangers to firefighters. They work at the Milton Volunteer Fire Department and have become quite the dynamic duo. Well, one day, a house fire call ended up turning into a life-threatening situation for one of them. News Channel 3's Marley Penchock shares quick action and dedication helped to save the life of a fellow firefighter. With each call firefighters like Isaac Bostick and Jonathan Black respond to, there's a risk involved. Every call that we go on, it's always in the back of our mind that something terrible can happen. Uh, we know that. We train for situations like this, but we never expect it to happen. Jonathan never expecting to find himself in a life-threatening situation. He and Isaac work at the Milton Volunteer Fire Department and were working together to fight a house fire a couple of weeks ago. I took two steps into the bedroom, scanned, turned around to walk out. As I was walking out, the ceiling collapsed, uh, rendered me unconscious. Uh, obviously, I don't remember anything after that. In those terrifying moments, Isaac says he knew he had to act fast. I didn't know how much air he had left. I didn't know how much air I had left because I was so focused on getting him out. Like, I, I didn't really even care about my own well-being. Isaac says fight or flight response kicked in, and he called a mayday. He dragged Jonathan down the hall, through the home, and eventually was able to meet up with a couple of other firefighters to help get him outside. They were then able to get him in the care of EMS. I can't thank Isaac enough. I know that that is part of the job, and I would have done the same thing for him or for any any of the guys here, but uh, he truly saved my life that night, uh, and I believe that, and I think everybody else does too. Uh, so I owe it to him uh, to make sure that I'm a good firefighter, I'm a stable firefighter, uh, and that if, if something ever happens to him, he can trust me enough uh, that I'll get him out of there. In Milton, Marley Pinchuk, WSAZ News Channel 3. And if a situation like this were to ever happen again, Jonathan says they are training on some new skills and standard operating procedures.